Hello everyone, I'm Chris Bowser. I'm here at the Norrie Point Environmental Center and I want to show you this beautiful sculpture we have. This is part of a partnership that we had with NOAA's Marine Debris Program. It allowed us to work with two artists on the West Coast, Elizabeth Roberts and Ram Papish, and what they did is they built this beautiful striped bass sculpture made entirely of marine debris, discarded plastics that they found along the coastline. It's, it's sort of a reminder that we don't actually want plastic fish in our environment, we want real fish. And one of the things that we can do to make sure we have healthy oceans, healthy estuaries, healthy fish populations, is make sure that plastics like these don't end up in our environment. When you take a deeper look in here, it gets very intricate and interesting because the artists use lots of materials to make this. Uh, you've got a snorkel right here. You've got your, your ubiquitous drinking water bottles here. You've got flip-flops and fishing lures and lighters and, um, and there's a toy boat in here. The fish itself is beautiful because it's actually very anatomically correct. So it's a great teaching tool with uh, beautiful fins and look at the, the gill cover here made out of sh discarded shoulder pads. The gills themselves are from crushed shotgun shells and I love this mouth here that's formed by old sneakers and some soup spoons and it's just a gorgeous representation of a striped bass and we're very happy to have it here at Norrie Point as a way again to teach people be careful about plastics. We don't want those in our environment. Thank you.